GG easy guys. Hey I'm not finished yet, you're surely gonna pay this time ugh. Dude it's late, time to go to bed, we have a test Tiana. IDC let's just play one more round. Just leave him guys, he'll get a D anyway so he's not worrying about it too much. Widem, I'll get a much higher mark, you will see. And what will it beat Noah? D plus. Ugh. Am I too straightforward? No, you'll gay backward. Ugh. Lol guys that's enough I can't. I gtg guys cuz I have to do my evening routine. Wait so you guys are all leaving now. Good luck on your test bro. Ugh. Lol see ya guys. Sorry. Sorry. What a day. My friends and I have played Roblox for literally for hours. Now I'm beat. Huh. Someone just texted me on Roblox. Ugh Noah. Just give me a break. What is it Noah stop spamming me, huh? Noah, no, it's me Adam. Adam? Oh my god is that really you? Gosh I miss you so much, how long have it been, five years? It's actually been eight years, where have you been all the time? My parents took my phone so that I could focus on my study, now that I'm a college student, I can play Roblox freely now. Hey at least you should let me know before you leave, you made me worried sick. Sorry, bestie. My mom didn't let me even though I was begging her. I understood. Your parents seem to be really harsh on you. Anyway, I immediately looked for you right after I downloaded the game. How things going? So far so good, but it would be better if you're along. Lol, I miss you a lot. I re-MB you're the goat player in Da Hood. Ah uh, stop. I'm not that good Lamal. Come on. I've seen you playing and I know that. If not, you need to prove it to me. Let's join Da Hood and show me what you got. So now, we're daring me? Accept the challenge? Deal. They joined Da Hood. They were having so much fun so they played it till 5 a.m. the next day. Hey guys. Hi sister. Hello. 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 What's up, fuckers? Damn I got AB, how was yours? Noah? Why asking me? Are you too scared to tell us how dumb you are? Of course not. Then tell us now. How was your test, bro? Guys wanna play him too? Only if you spit it all out. How was your test, bro? Haha, <laughs> Emil, how was your? How was your test, bro? Ugh, it's so unfair. How about Emil? How was your test, bro? D. Ah ha 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 I knew it. You're even dumber than I thought. Falul. The test was easy. I got an A. Gosh, Ava, you're good. Tizem, how about you? I bet you got an A+. Same. Guys wanna play him too? Emil? How was your test, bro? Girly, are you hiding us something? Nope, let's play him too. She definitely is hiding us something. You surely are hiding us something. How was your test, bro? Gosh, do I have any choice of not telling Arn? Spit it out, girl. We're gonna know it anyway. How was your... All right, all right. But please don't tell anyone. Okay. okay. I got an F. What, what the, the fuck? Emil, but that's impossible. Even the dumb Noah got D. Hey. I still don't believe it. There gotta be something wrong with your paper. No, it's all my fault. I overslept the whole exam. What? what? Girl, what time did you go to bed last night? Um, M. Seriously girl why were you up till literally 5 in the morning? I just met my ex best friend from 8 years ago we were so happy to see each other so we decided to play Da Hood all night long. Damn girl even though you knew there would be a test today. Actually I totally forgot cause I was carried away. Speaking of your ex friend, is he online Arn? Let me see, yeah he is. He's playing Brookhaven RP now. How about adding him guys? Fine by me. Oh yeah, why not? He's Emil's friend, so he's our friend now. Someone is excited when hearing about boys. Ugh, shut up, at least I didn't get a D. A D or a D? I'm done talking, just add him now, Emil. Okay, wait a sec. Alright, he agreed to join us. Yay. Brew. Emilia Flora 1232 has added Slender Bro 09 into the GC. Hey guys. What you doing? Hey Joshua! <laughs> what, what the, the fuck? fuck? 
Please don't do that again, girl. You're making him scared. Hey, bro. What's her name? I'm Adam, Emil's best friend. What's yours? James. I'm Noah. My name is Ava. Let's do an age and face reveal. I'm 16, and this is me. Pretty low. Tizem, how about you? I'm 18, and this is me. Handsome, oh my god. Bro looks good. Nice dude. Wow, you look so much better than eight years ago. You've changed. Thanks. I'm 16, and this is me. Aren't you gonna say something? Nope. I'm 16, and this is me. Dude looks fine. Dude looks fine. I guess. Hey, what about me? Shut up, dummy. Take care of your brain before thinking of your look. Ugh, at least I'm better at dahood than you. No one cares, bro. For real. Emil, privcha me, please. Okay. What is it, Ava? Yeah, about Adam. Does he have a GF? Oh. What's wrong? Are you to a couple? No, I mean, I don't know. We're good old friends. In mind, they're not officially mind, dating. Not good, officially I dating. still have a good. chance. Ava, you still there? Oops, my mom just called. Oh, okay. Anyway, are you interested in Adam? No, no, I was just asking. Cause I care about my friend if she has a new BF lol. Haha, <laughs> there's nothing between us. We're just old friends. But I do have a little romantic feeling for him. And I don't know if it's enough to call crushing on him. I see. In mind, Adam is mine. Mind. Anyway, let's return to the group chat. Adam is waiting for us. Hey, what took you so long? Girls talk. Wanna join? Do I look like a girl? Yeah. 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 Ugh, fick you. Anyway, Adam, let's priv chat. Again, bro? Okay, sure. Hey, what's wrong? I just wanna ask, do you like Emil? Huh, why do you say so? I just care about my friend, and I wanna let you know that she's not into you. Oh, why? She told me that you're just her old friend and nothing me. She doesn't want you to cross the boundary. I see now. Thanks for letting me know. No matter what, I'll be there for Emil and you. So don't worry. You're such a good friend. Emil's a lucky girl. Yeah, since she's not into you, what do you think about me? You? Why them? Do you think I'm pretty? Yeah, you look fine. Really? Aw, oh, thanks a lot. How about? Let's be back with our friends now. They are waiting. Ugh, WF. There you are. Any more priv chat? I think we're done now. Hey, come to think of it, you all have priv chat but me and James. So? Just wondering, and a bit jealous of you guys having secret things. I got none, so. Wanna priv chat now? Yes. What just happened? Beat me. Anyway, Adam, do you wanna play something? Just the two of us. Um. Lol, guys, do you wanna play Da Hood? Excuse me. Okay, I'm in. Ugh, he completely ignored me. I should think of a better plan. He'll be mine at all cost. They played Da Hood for two hours. Gosh, Ava, you literally shot me all the time. Oops, my bad. Hey, I get TG now, bye. The game was fun, by the way. Goodbye, Adam. See ya, Team ER. See ya. Hey, I saw that you were acting weird when he was around. Oh, is that obvious? Obvious? What obvious? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Hey, I'm your best friend. You can't hide anything from me. Just spit it out, girl. It's just... Hey, we're back. What took you so long, dudes? We want to tell you a good news. And that is? James and I are dating now. Well, congrats. Are you far, James? He got a D. At least, he got a long D lol. Oh my gosh, that's gross. Not to us. But to me. Just go get a room, please. Nope. I love you, babe. I love you 3000. I wonder what Adam is doing. Gosh, I think I have a crush on him. I should give him some present. Maybe some cookies, IG. Then it's decided. I'm gonna bake him some cookies. Um, there's no milk left. I'd better go to the grocery now. There we go. Got the milk now. I'm sorry I...
Emil? Adam? Gosh, Adam, it's you. How are you doing? I didn't expect I could meet you like this. I know, right? I thought you've been far away since you moved. I've just returned here for a couple of hours. Got some jet lag, so I gotta go somewhere around to feel better. But why didn't you tell me anything? Actually, I'm about to. But what a coincidence. I have met you here. Yeah. So what have you got here? Milk? Yeah, and so do you. Almond milk? Yep. And so is yours. Wow, we haven't changed, have we? Yep. It's still us the same old days. Your voice is still soft as always. Really? Is that a compliment? What if I say yes? Then I will kiss you. Huh? I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. No. No? I mean, don't say that. I'm sorry, I was a little shocked. Gosh, did I just make everything awkward? No, it was all me. Here, let me give you this for my apology. Adam? I didn't know you also like me. And what makes you think so? Ava told me that. Huh? She told me that you only saw me as your good old friend, nothing more. I've never said that. I just told her that I'm uncertain about our relationship, Arn. So she was lying the whole time. Come to think of it, Ava seems to like me. She keeps telling me weird stuff and it's kinda awkward to me. No wonder she keeps asking me if you have a girlfriend. So she was lying the whole time. Are you okay, Emil? Sorry, I'm a bit mad about her. You should go see her now. I'll call you later. Okay, see ya, Adam. Who's that girl, babe? Just a little brat. Don't worry about her. She's pretty. Should I be jealous of her? Not as pretty as you. You're the most beautiful I've ever known. Oh shit. I gotta tell Emil about this. Bestie, bestie, guess what? That you're trying to steal my crush. What? Wait, hold on. I've known everything. You've been planning to take Adam from me. You lied to him that I was not into him. Just that you can approach and get his attention. Chill lax girl about that. I'm so sorry. I didn't know that you're truly crushing on him. I'ma tell you this. Adam and I kissed just now. What? Where? At the mall. Oh my gosh, I was there too. Thank God you haven't seen us kissing. Cause you would go attack me and him right away. You're being offensive. And you're being defensive. Okay, just hear me out. It's really my fault that made him to misunderstand you. But you have to see this thing. Ava sends Emil some pics of Adam kissing another girl. Emil, are you still there? No. Are you okay? No. Hey, are you crying, Arn? Yup. Hey, girl, don't cry. I got you now. What's the point? I was being cheated on by my old friend and my bestie. What the fuck is going on with me? Girl, chill. You have to stay calm. It's gonna be alright, I promise. I'd just shut up. How about this? Let's get him and beat his ass up to revenge. I don't think so. We're not kids anymore. I'll deal with him face to face like adults. And I'll go with you. Ugh fuck off. Hey, what brings you here? I'm coming to see you. Can't a girlfriend do that? Yes, of course. But my house is a mess arn so you should come back later. I don't mind. Hey, how about you just go home? And I'll go see you at your house. We'll have the best night ever. I prefer a messy room for the best night, so just let me come in. Lol, you're funny. Please just go home. Who's this girl, babe? Gotcha. Fuck it. Emil, I can explain. Explain me too. Hi, girl. I just wanna tell you this. You're dating with a player. You should dumb ass up cause he's gonna ruin your life. What? Is she saying the truth, babe? Ugh, no, of course not. She's crazy, so you mustn't listen to her. I regret kissing your disgusting mouth, Alex. Fuck off, crazy woman. Do not insult my man. Stupid girl. You'll regret it someday. Goodbye, asshole. I pity this friendship. Emil. Gosh, I really wanna cry Arn. But I need to keep myself together. It's not worth crying for that shit relationship. 
I should block him now. Don't wanna see him exist in this world anymore. Before we end this story, just a small tip for you. Do not trust Slender. Goodbye. Marley wakes up. Holy shit. Oops, I shouldn't speak out loud. So I don't waste my words. I can't believe I got 12,000 words today. Yesterday I only got 500. I'm gonna go tell mom. Marley goes downstairs to the kitchen. Morning, mom. Good morning, sweetie. But why are you talking? You shouldn't waste your words. No, don't worry, mom. Today I have 12,000 words. Oh my god. Really, sweetie? That's amazing. Yeah, I know. You are so lucky that you have unlimited every single day. Yes, but that's only because I found my soulmate. When you find yours, then you will also have unlimited words. But how does it work, mom? When you find your soulmate, does your words just automatically change to unlimited? No, sweetie. If you find your soulmate, you won't know it right away. You have to wait until the day ends. And when you wake up the next morning, you'll have unlimited words. Oh, okay. That does make sense. How long does it take for you to find your soulmate? It took me until the age of 20 when I was at a party. I met your dad and he bought me a drink. The next day I had unlimited and I asked your dad out on a date. That's how I got unlimited. I hope you get yours soon, sweetie. Me too. Mom, is it time for me to go to school yet? Oh shit, yes. Sorry, I lost track of time. I'll drive you there. Okay, Mom. They get in the car. They arrive at Marley's school. Have fun, sweetie. Thanks, Mom. Remember to use your words wisely. I will. Don't worry. Okay. I'll see you after school, Marley. Bye, Mom. In class. Uh, finally, the loser Marley is here. How many words do you have today? Let me guess. Two? For your information. I have 11,913. And please stop acting like a brat. Just because you found your soulmate and have unlimited words doesn't mean you should bully people who don't. You are literally so annoying, Marley. You have to lecture me on literally everything. It's disgusting. Yeah, I agree with Lisa. Marley, you should shut up and mind your own business. You are only saying that because you are afraid that if you don't stick up for Lisa, then she will be mean to you. Yeah, David. How many words do you even have? Currently, I have 1,802,078 words. What about you, Jane the Pain? Hey, don't call me that. It's mean. I can't believe you are such a... What happened to her? Jane does weird hand expressions. Oh my god. I think the loser just ran out of words. Bah ha 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 Guys, stop laughing. That's insanely rude. Who asked for your opinion? Bah ha ha ha. Jane, don't listen to them. It's not your fault that you ran out of words. Yes, it is. It's her fault for using them. Just shut the fuck up, Lisa. No, thank you. Jane can do that. It's the only thing she is good at. <laughs> Oh my lord, Jane, the pain is such a crybaby. Oh my god, did the scaredy cat just run away? Such a loser. You two really need to just shut the fuck up. Excuse me, Marley, did I just hear you swearing at David and Lisa? No, Miss Addie. I, uh... Yes, she was swearing at us. Yeah, Miss Addie, she was being such a bully. She even made fun of Jane. Jane was so upset that she ran away. That is not true. Stop lying. Shush Marley. David, what did Marley say to Jane? Be honest. She called her a loser and made fun of her for running out of words. No, I did not. Yes, she did, Miss Addie. Do not listen to Marley. She's lying. What no I? Marley just say the truth. Lying is getting you nowhere. Marley, you used to be such a nice kid. I can't believe you I did not. I never made fun of Jane. Jane ran away because Lisa and David were being mean to her. Marley, did you just interrupt me? Go to the principal's office right this second. You are in big trouble. But I fine. I'll go. Uh, Dad, can't, can't believe they are such liars. liars. I'll, I'll just, just go, go to the to principal's, principal's office and explain and everything. And everything. Hopefully, Hopefully he'll, he'll believe me. I'm here. 
coming. Hey Marley, what brings you to my office today? If you have enough words, then please explain. If not, then I will get you a piece of paper and a pen to write it down. I'm good. I've got enough words. Explains everything in 236 words. Whoa. So you're telling me that Lisa and David lied to Ms. Addy about you bullying them and Jane? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Do you believe me? Yes. I will pull in Jane later to see what's her perspective of this situation. But for now, I have a few questions for you. What is it? Did you swear at Lisa and David? A uh, yes, but only because I was standing up for myself and Jane. Okay, as a result of swearing, your words will be taken away for a day. What? But that is not even possible. Yes it is. Wordnologists, also known as word doctors have figured out a way to take away certain amounts of words from people. I but why is that necessary? I just swore once. Because swearing isn't allowed at this school. Yeah, I know, but please don't do that to me. Give me a second chance. No sorry, Marley, I can't do that. You can have your words today, but tomorrow they will be confiscated. What? You heard me, Marley. Now head back to class. What? Fine. Later that night. Sweetie. You seem so stressed. What's going on? Principal Bob said that tomorrow he's gonna confiscate my words. Honey, that is impossible. I'm sure he is just messing with you. No, he is serious. I don't know what to do. Sweetie, why would he confiscate your words? He has no reason to do that. Well, Mom, yes he does. Wait, what? Why? What did you do, Marley? I swore at David and Lisa because they were bullying me and Jane. And apparently swearing is against school rules. And if someone violates the school rules, then they get their words taken away for a day. Honey, I assure you that this is all bullshit. And even if it isn't, then it's just a day you'll get your words back the following day. Yeah, I know. A day is not that bad. Yeah, it will be quick, sweetie. You should go to bed now. It's late. Okay, mom. <sighs> I wonder how many words I'll get tomorrow. The next day. I yo, should I've got to stop speaking out loud? It's wasting my words. There's no way. I just got 24,000 words. I've never got so much words before in my life. Mom, I've got 24,000 words. Oh my, that's awesome, sweetie. Hopefully Principal Bob won't remove your words. Principal Bob won't remove her words. It's very dangerous and he knows better than to do that to any child. I bet he's just joking with Marley. I can't believe that she actually thinks he's gonna remove her words. Yeah, hope he doesn't remove my words. But it's just for a day, so I guess it won't be bad since I'll get new words again the next day. Yeah, yeah, okay. Do you want me to take you to school now, Marley? Yes, please, Mom. Okay, let's go to my car. Okay. They go to the car. See you after school, honey. See ya, Mom. Marley goes to class. Hey, Marley. I've got a word analogist in my office. They're ready to take away your words. No, please. Can I please keep my words? I won't violate any school rules again. No. You are coming with me. He grabs Marley. Ah, uh, stop. Stop touching me. It hurts. Nobody is going to help you, little girl. Help, help. He pulls her into his office. Take your clothes off. What? No. Are you trying to or it pay me? Do it or I will force you. Meanwhile. Now that I have dropped off Marley, I'm gonna go back home. Here's a scream coming from inside the school. Wait, hold on. Is that Marley screaming? Maybe Principal Bob really is trying to erase her words. I'm gonna call him and complain right now. She takes out her phone and calls Principal Bob. He better pick up or I'm walking in there myself. Meanwhile with Marley and Principal Bob. Yes, I'm gonna rape you Marley. Don't believe me, just you wait. I'm gonna peel your clothes off like a banana. No, help. Grabs. He tries to take her clothes off. Damn it. You stay right here while I answer the call and I'll rape you once. It's over. A uh, help. 
Someone please help me. No one can hear you Jack at Snow shut up or else. It's from your hoe the mother. My mom is not a hoe. Say that again and I'll hurt you. She stops talking. He picks up the call. Hello Marley's mom. Can I help you? Are you removing my daughter's words? No miss. We'd never do that to a child. I'm sorry you even have that thought. Okay well. Why do I hear screaming from outside the building? The ninth graders are practicing a play in drama class. They can be very loud. That's not true. Mom, he's hurting Okay, well, UHM, is there anything else I can assist you with before we hang up? Wait, hold on. What was that voice I just heard in the background? Oh, I'm still the play, miss. I apologize for the loud noise. No, I heard my daughter yelling. I'm sorry, miss, but that wasn't your daughter. Ugh, fine. I'm trusting you. Don't take my daughter's words away. Yes, miss. Of course not. He gets off the phone with Marley's mom. Haha, <laughs> now I can finally. Oh, this must be the word analogist who are ready to erase your words so that you can't tell anybody. I did this to you. Ha ha ha. Well, I guess that means I have to wait for a different day to or I pay you. Hi, I am Natalie. I'm your word analogist. How may I help you? Well, she wanted to take away her words for a day to see how it feels. Can you do that for her? No, I never said that. Shush Marley, a uh, her her, she's just shy. Oh, okay, that's a rare procedure. And there are many side effects to taking away your words. There is also a possibility that your words will never come back. Many things could go wrong. Are you sure you want your words taken away, sweetie? No, I don't want. Yes, yes she does want it. Please run the procedure immediately or my. I sure this damn company. But sir, the young girl said she doesn't want it. It doesn't matter what she says. I'm her dad. And I say she needs to get it. You are not my dad. We are literally in a whole dang flipping school right now. You are my prince. Marley quit speaking over me and stop lying game your dad. Sir, I'm sorry, but we are not allowed to take away her words. If she doesn't want it. I will sue. Do it or else. No, sir. Please don't sue us. We work really hard to take care of people's words and make sure their word system is operating and generating naturally. Please don't. I don't need to be lecture. Do it now. Okay, sir. But I must ask you to calm down and not sue. If I preform this procedure on your daughter or student, whatever she is to you. Okay, fine, but do it now. Now. Okay, miss. How many words do you have right now? Um, I have 23,000 words right now. Okay, please stop speaking so that I don't erase more words than intended. Miley nods her head. Okay, connect this transporter to your ear so I can run the procedure. Miley takes the transporter. Great job. Now I'm going to inject something into your skin, which will take away your 23,000 words away. I entered 23,000. That's how many words you have, right? Miley nods her head. Natalie takes out needle. I'll inject this into you in three, two, one. Injects her. Great. The procedure is over. All your words are gone, correct? Natalie takes the headphones off of Marley. Marley looks up at her words. Oh my god, I still have some words left. Thank god I lied about how many words I had. I should have told her that I had 1,000 words left only. Marley nods her head and pretends to look scared that her words are gone. Okay, great. Let me look at the headphones data to see if anything went wrong during the procedure. <gasps> what is it, Natalie? I have terrible news. Tell us. There was a problem with the procedure, and it looks like your words will never return, Marley. Dingo. 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 Now she will never be able to tell anyone that I tried to rape her. Asterisk. Fuck no. Joke's on them. I still have words left. Marley, your words won't ever reset unless you find your soulmate. When you find your soulmate, then you will get infinite words. Oh no. That's all. Oh no, sir. May I ask you a question? Um yeah. What is it, Natalie? Do you even care about your daughter? Her words could be gone forever. If she doesn't find her soulmate. Of course, I care about her. But I have a lot on my mind, so I'm not really showing much emotion. Such a Such lame a excuse. excuse. I hope, I hope he goes, he goes to, hell. to hell. That's, That's so that suspicious. suspicious. Okay, well, I better be on my way now. Anything else you need? Nope. You can leave now. 
Okay, go back to your class right this second. Shit, what am I gonna do? Instead of going back to class, I'm going to go home and tell my mom what happened. Miley gets her phone to call her mom. Mom, pick up. Hello, sweetie. Mom, a oh shit, I just wasted a word. What is it, sweetie? Maybe I should just text her. Miley hangs up the call and goes to text her mom. Hi, mom. I need you to come pick me up right now. It's important. Why, sweetie? It's the middle of school, and I don't allow you to skip. Don't worry. I talked to Principal Bob, and he said he won't take away your words. No, mom. Come pick me up right now, and I'll explain in the car. Fine. If you're that anxious, then I'll come in about 15 minutes to pick you up. Okay. Text me when you hear. She puts away her phone. I have 15 minutes to wait for my mom to come pick me up. Maybe I'll just hide in the bathroom until then so that nobody knows I'm trying to escape. Marley runs to the bathroom. In the bathroom. When will mom get here? Great, it's my mom. She texted me that she's here. Runs out of bathroom and goes outside. Inside the car. Hi, sweetie. Why did you need me to pick you up? Marley does weird hand expressions. Oh, no. He, he took your words away? Wait, no, he couldn't have. On the phone you talked. You said mom. Marley pulls out a paper and a pen. I'll explain at home. Drive. Now. Okay, okay, sweetie. But I don't understand. So please explain when we get home. They drive to their house. They arrive. Okay, sweetie. We can get out of the car now and meet me in the kitchen. Later in the kitchen. Can you now explain to me what happened? You can write it down. Marley nods her head. Principal Bob pulled me into his office and then I swear to God, he tried to rape me. WH80? No cap. He asked me to take my clothes off and said if I didn't do it then he would do it himself. Did that man touch you? I'm calling the police. No he didn't because you called him. Then after you called him, the word analogist came. Is that why you can't speak? Yes. They took away my words. Ugh, he told me wouldn't do that. Liar. At least you get your words back tomorrow? No, I don't. A malfunction happened and apparently I don't get words back until I find my soulmate. Excuse me, what? They have to be kidding. They are not kidding. I don't believe that. Mom, stop screaming. It hurts my ears. Sorry, let's just wait until tomorrow to see if your words come back or not. I think they will. Don't worry, sweetie. I'm going to get you into a new school and if your words don't come back, then I'm telling the police about Principal Bob. Thank mom. Of course, sweetie. Don't worry about it. I'll start searching for new schools that you can go to. But for a week you're going to have to stay at the same school. Why? Because you need to finish the semester before you can switch schools. Ugh, fine, but mom, I'm scared. He tried to rape me. Would you like me to leave him an email to tell him to stay away from you? No. The whole point of removing my words was so that I couldn't tell anyone about what he did. He will kill me if he finds out that I told you. Good point, sweetie. Go to bed now. I'll think about what we will do tonight. Tomorrow we will check to see if your words are back. Okay, mom. Should I, Should tell, I tell her, her that, that I still have, have some, some words left? left? No, 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 it will it be a will be secret. secret. Honey. Are you okay? Why are you just sitting there? Is there something you aren't telling me? No, mom. Good night. The next morning. Oh, my lord. Dang it. Why did I speak out loud? I'm wasting my words. Marley's mom come rushing into the room. Sweetie, are you awake? Are your words back? Marley shakes her head. Ugh, I'm so mad. Don't worry, sweetie. You'll find your soulmate soon enough. Go get ready and brush your teeth. Then come downstairs for breakfast. Nods her head. She gets ready and goes downstairs. Breakfast is waffles your favorite. Marley eats her breakfast. I'll drive you to school now. At school. Um, I have to explain to my teacher that I don't have any words left. Oh, hey Marley. Good morning. How are you? Marley grabs a paper and writes. I'm good. 
I got my words permanently taken away by a wordonologist. I have to communicate by writing things down on a paper. Oh okay, that makes sense. Did you hear that everyone? She can't speak. Everyone nods. Okay good anyways, let's start class. Today, we will learn about fractions. Before we start, can I have some volunteers to go to the lobby and grab my phone? I accidentally left it there. Marley and Lisa raised their hands. Great. Marley and Lisa, you two can go. Please be quick. Why are you still holding that paper and a pencil, dummy? So I can write instead of speaking. I don't have words, remember? Ba ha 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 ha. You think I believe that? Of course, I am smart enough to know that you are lying. I am going to get proof that you can speak and show it to everybody. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. oh what? Are you scared now, Marley? Don't be a scardy cat. No, I am not scared. There's nothing to be scared about. I won't give up. I know you are lying. You have plenty of words left. Nice try, Lisa. Now aren't we supposed to be going to the lobby to get Miss Addie's phone? Oh yeah, fine. Let's go. Let's take the staircase instead of the elevator. Why the staircase? The elevator is much faster? Don't question it. Just let's go use the staircase. It's a good exercise. Fine. They walk to the staircase. You can go ahead before me. Oh no. My leg. It's broken. Oh my god, you spoke. I can't believe you actually lied. I'm going to tell everybody. No way. I have to get out of here. Ouch. My leg hurts so badly. I need to call my mom and tell her to come pick me up. Miley calls her mom. Great. She said she'll be right over. A minute later. Hey, sweetheart. Get in the car quick. What happened to your leg? It looks badly bruised. We need to take you to a hospital. You are limping a lot and you probably broke your leg. Nods. They drive to the hospital. In the hospital? Good thing that you came. Your leg is broken. Come to this other room with me and I will be able to get you a cast and crutches. If you don't mind me, son will be in there. He's finishing up his homework and then he'll be out. Is that okay with you? Yes, it's okay with us. Great, follow me to the room on our right. They go in the room. This is my son. He doesn't have any words left. So I'll introduce him myself. His name is Bowie. He's the same age as you, Marley. Okay, anyways, let's get back to your leg. He puts a cast on her leg. Great, all done. Marley's mom, will you give me your number so that I can update you when she needs to come back for a new appointment? Yes, sure. She gets him her number. Marley and her mom go home the next morning. Oh my god, my words. My flipping goddamn words. Marley, you have word? Yes, I have infinity. Apparently I found my soulmate yesterday. Oh my gosh, who do you think it is? I have no idea. The only new people I met yesterday were Diart Mark and his son. Oh lord. Now we have to get in the car and drive straight back to the hospital. Okay, let me brush my teeth and get dressed first. At the hospital? Hello, miss. Is there anything I can do to help you today? Yes, my daughter and I need to speak with Dr. Mark. Oh well. He requested a day off today because his son found his soulmate and is living his first day. With infinity words. Can I get a different doctor to help you? No, this is urgent and we need Dr. Mark. Just leave him a call, please. We cannot do that. Gives her $100 bill. Call him now. Oh, okay, fine, but another 100 please. Gives her another $100 bill. Okay, I'll leave him a call now. Thanks, yes, goodness. Finally. Marley meets Barry, and they are soulmates, and they live happily ever after. On the other hand, Marley's mother informed the police about what Principal Bob did to Marley, and he was arrested soon after.